We had a private now, now, server I, I get to weigh in. that now, was let me discovered. Just say I did wait. He, Senator, he keep that pay-to-play uh, process you have an Gov out Pence, of the reach of Governor the public Pence, because well, Hillary Clinton if you failed to renegotiate. More, more American. Hello, long time no see. My name is Jonathan Quigley, and today we're going to be making a partisan sandwich. First, let's go over the ingredients we're going to use, which are sandwich bread, sliced turkey, sliced cheese, a small avocado, a tomato, an egg, mayonnaise, and or honey mustard, and the belief that all our problems can and should be solved through electoralism alone. You'll also need a basic cutting knife and cutting board, a toaster, a pan, and a dismissive attitude towards any political activity or societal organization that exists outside of mainstream partisan politics. The first thing we're going to do is take our knife and cutting board and slice up our veggies. I find it's nice to get this step out of the way first. It gives us some time to reflect on how the wealthiest and most powerful nation on earth doesn't guarantee even the basic necessities of survival to its own citizens, despite the widespread popularity these ideas have amongst the working class. Oh, and if you need specific instructions on how to slice a tomato or an avocado, uh, I don't know, go talk to Bobish. Next, we'll take our bread, looks like we've got onion buns today, very sexy, and just throw both slices in the toaster at a very low temp, just to get them lightly toasted. If you let them toast for too long, you could end up realizing that entrenchment in a two-party system only benefits those two political parties while actively hurting efforts towards genuine democracy. While our bread is in the toaster, let's whip out our frying pan, turn on the stove, and get that egg cooking. If you need specific instructions on how to cook an egg, go ask Bobish. You may be wondering why I'm putting a fried egg on my sandwich at all. Well, the reason why is because democracy is a fluid and ever-changing concept that needs to grow and evolve as time passes. Otherwise, we risk apathy and stagnation in our governmental systems, which can and will lead to our democratic institutions being compromised by fascist ideology. Rigid insistence that there is only one correct way to make a sandwich is foolish and patently undemocratic. Oh, looks like our buns are done toasting. Let's grab our condiments and a spreading knife. I'm using mayo and honey mustard because I have no god. Just take a nice dollop of each and spread it across the bun. While this step is pretty simple, it's always a good idea to go online and double check how much money the DNC and RNC made through fundraising just to remind yourself what economic class of people they actually care about representing. Now let's check in on our fried egg. Looks like it's just about finished cooking. So next we'll grab a slice of pepper jack cheese and put it on one bun, and then on the other we'll put a few slices of turkey. And now both buns are ready to be thrown on the pan. Make sure you don't forget to put your egg on the bun with the cheese on it. Now I know we're always told that Democrats and Republicans can never see eye to eye on any issue, but let's take a quick look at the things they do agree on. not come. Because they own this fucking place. It's a big club and you ain't in it. You and I are not in the big club. Looks like our cheese is nice and melted, and our buns are toasted to perfection. So let's scoop them both off the pan and bring them back to the counter. At this point, we've got everything we need to finish the sandwich. We just need to add our sliced veggies. Just remember, when people refer to the Democrats as the far left, remind them that by international political standards, Democrats are centrist at best and full-blown conservatives at worst. Just look up what the ratchet effect is. Meanwhile, Republicans are... Uh... Now, it may seem like our sandwich is finished, but wait, there's more. There's actually one last secret ingredient that we're going to add, and we're going to need help from the audience to decide what it's going to be. That's right, you! 
Our only two options are either this can of wet cat food or this can of wet dog food. Vote now on your phones by texting this number which ingredient you think we should add to our sandwich. Just keep in mind while you're voting that both options will claim that they support certain causes slash issues while taking none of the practical or necessary steps to work towards meaningful solutions and will actually make decisions that actively exacerbate these issues. This is commonly referred to as lying. Well, the results are in and it looks like the winner is the cat food. Hey, at least it's better than the other guy, right? Just pop open that can and slather that juicy cat food all over your perfectly good sandwich. And remember, this is what a functioning democracy looks like, and hoping for anything better than this is just childish thinking. Now that all of our ingredients are on the sandwich, let's bring our two buns together to finish it. Now we can see the definition of partisanship is a strong adherence, dedication, or loyalty to a political party, or to an ideology or agenda associated with a political party, usually accompanied by a negative view of an opposing party. Now before we serve our sandwich, we should grab a side dish to complement our main dish. Typically sandwiches are served with either chips, coleslaw, or fries, but we're going to pair our sandwich with the book Cuba and Its Neighbors, Democracy in Motion by Arnold August. If you want to learn more about what genuine active democratic participation looks like, this book is an excellent resource. I'll link a PDF copy of this book in the description below, as a vegan alternative to print media. And with that, we have finished our partisan sandwich. Thank you all for watching. If you found this video helpful, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. If you like this video and want to see more, let me know in the comments below, and have a good day.